and students this lecture is about laboratory diagnosis of brucellosis in animals brucellosis is a zoonotic infection zoonotic infections are those infections which spread from animals to human beings brucellosis is caused in animals like goat sheep cow and dogs the two common species which can be transmitted from animals to human beings are brucellosis melanogensis and brucellosis abortus the lab diagnosis has to be done in both animals and humans in the previous lecture we have studied the lab diagnosis in the case of the humans today we will study about the lab diagnosis of brucellosis in animals the diagnosis in animals is based upon three approaches one is the culture of urine and milk the second is the rose bengal card test the third one is the milk ring test in this lecture the culture of urine and milk will not be covered this is discussed separately rose bengal card test it is a rapid test based upon the principle of agglutination when this test was designed originally it was for the screening of brucellosis in animal populations but now it is also used as an adjunctive test for rapid diagnosis of brucellosis in the humans this test is a rapid test a slight test based upon the agglutination so can be called rapid slight type agglutination s for this the antigen is required the antigen is a stained preparation taken from brucella abortus the ph 3.6 to 3.7 is maintained the second requirement is that of the test serum the antigen is stained with the rose bengal it is taken from brucella abortus and sodium azide is used for the preservation of the antigen the procedure of rose bengal card test the test is carried on a white tile or a white card or an enamel plate to this plate or the card 0.03 ml of the test serum from the animal is taken an equal amount of antigen that is 0.3 ml of the antigen which is the stained antigen is added so as to produce a zone approximately of 2 cm diameter then this slide is agitated on a slight rocker gently for 4 minutes at the room temperature and then it is observed for the agglutination the slide is showing the results of rose bengal card test sample number 2 sample number 3 and sample number 5 they are showing the positive agglutination test so they are positive for brucellosis the disadvantage of the rose bengal card test is that it has low specificity in endemic areas and false positive results are also obtained hence the results of rose bengal card test should be confirmed with a quantitative serological test the second is milk ring test it is an inexpensive test and uh, the benefit of this test is that it can be carried for surveillance of dairy herd for brucellosis in this test the pooled fresh milk sample can be taken or the cream samples they can be taken that is uh, the sample of 25 cows can be 
ruled and checked by this method. If in this sample of 25 pounds we get the positive result, then we will screen the individual cow of this herd by another test, which is a test based upon ELISA using the blood of the animal. For performing this test, the brucellar cells, they are stained with hematozymin. The whole milk is used or the whole milk with cream can be used. The milk samples is presumed that if they have brucellosis, then they contain the anti-brucella antibodies. So in this test, we are looking for the presence of the anti-brucella antibodies. If the blood sam sorry the milk sample has the antibodies, it will get attached to the fat globules and the fat portion of the antibodies will attach to the stain antigen. So a complex will produce this complex will produce the purple ring in the cream layer in the uppermost layer. And if there are no antibodies, then the antibodies they are free, they don't attach with the stained antigen and no such ring is produced so on the top there will be a buff color so this can be tested for a herd and if there is a suspicious herd then the test is then carried out for the individual animal it is recommended by the regulatory agencies that in a dairy or in a herd where the dairy animals are kept at least three tests should be conducted at regular intervals in a year to screen the brucellosis in those animals regarding the procedure of the milk ring test a test tube is taken in the test tube the milk sample is taken so that milk sample is usually the pool sample then to that a colored antigen is added that colored antigen is the brucella antigen taken either from the brucella abortus or brucella malintensis the color is done with the hematocylin dye this mixture is then incubated in a water bath at 70 degrees celsius for 40 to 50 minutes after the incubation if there is a blue ring at the top and the milk is unstained that is a positive reaction if there is no ring and the milk remains uniformly blue then this is the negative reaction the third one is the milk eye ELISA test it is a sensitive test also specific and at the same time it is inexpensive so it can be carried for the screening of large number of the individual samples or the it can be carried for the bulk milk sample also so in this test we are also looking for the antibody to brucella abortus in the milk the antigen is used which is the potassium chloride extract of the brucella abortus so in this we are looking for a logical reaction so this can be carried out in the form of the tube assay method this ELISA can be carried in the form of the tube ELISA method where we look for the clumping this is specific and it is highly reliable test for monitoring the brucellosis control programs by using these diagnostic tests in the cattle the animal brucellosis can be screened and a possible transmission from the animals to the human beings can be controlled. Thanks for your patient hearing.